come in. Excuse me. Uh, by asking if it was diet, she took it as you trying to imply that you thought she was fat. Go get a red rose, get a regular Coke, tell her she's everything you never knew you always wanted. Any problems, give me a call. From Columbia Pictures. Did you ever hear this guy they call the date doctor? Urban myth. Really? Absolutely. I'm he can show you the moves. Elbows, six inches from the waist, 90 degree angles. This is home. You see somebody you know, I don't want none of this. Don't bite your lip. Stop biting your lip. None of this. Okay, see, now that's what I need to be learning. In the club with my homies, trying to get a little VI, keep it down on the low key. Don't ever do that again. He can pitch the cure for the common man. Eight out of ten women believe that the first kiss will tell them everything that they need to know. The secret is to go 90% of the way and hold. Now show me the magic. Show me the magic. What the hell was that? I'm showing you the magic. I... No, I said come 90 and then I come 10. You don't go the whole 100. You overzealous son of a... Less than a minute now. Tool time for 200. This term for a long-handled gardening tool can also mean an immoral pleasure seeker. Ken. What's a hoe? No. <laughs> Whoa. 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 They teach you that in school in Utah, huh, Al? Well, I'm sure you needed it, Annie. Did you get many spankings as a kid? Uh, as a kid, no. No, I'm, I'm, no, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a I mean, minute. A... Wait a minute. That's not what I meant. I meant I was a little. <laughs> Word about the president. For seven and a half years, I've worked alongside him. And I'm proud to have been his partner. And we've had trials. We've made some mistakes. We've had some sex setbacks. <laughs> Where Chicago? Did I say baseball? I meant basketball. I got my balls screwed up. Now when it's warm and wet in London this morning, let's find out uh, how Isabel Lang is. Warm and wet as well. <laughs> This week, we're looking back on some great memories from 20 years of late night television. That's right. Yeah, 20, 20 years. To put that in perspective, someone born in 1993, when we started, would today be getting ready to leave college and move back home with their parents. <laughs> Corinne, minors and hoes. No. Time starts now. A group of pill pushers? <laughs> How long have you known George here? Seven years. Yeah, now, now you are signing, I notice, and that, what does that tell us? That means he's deaf. <laughs> An ugly child? Now, you are a school counselor. Yes. Name a kind of bear. Papa bear. A papa bear. How many decades will your husband say his mother has lived? Gloria. Ten decades. Ten decades. <laughs> Gentlemen, how many decades has your mother lived? Daryl, you have a troubled look on your face. What's the matter? Oh, uh, I don't know what a decade is. What are you? Fourth birthday, so she'd be good. It's four years a decade. She'd be ten decades. Ten decades. <laughs> 